Hi, good day to everyone. My name is Miss Vanessa Sanchez, but you can call me Teacher Vanessa, and I am 21 years old. I am here to tell you a story about a very hardworking animal, and her name is Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who lived on the farm. The little red hen may have been little, but you know what? She's the most active resident of the farm. When she wasn't laying eggs, she spent her time clacking and walking around the farm, taking up the seeds from the ground or gathering up twigs and leaves to make her nest. She kept everything in the, in the farm tidy and clean. One day, she was playing at the farmyard when she found some red seeds on the ground. And she said, I know these seeds can grow into some wheat plants. If I put the seeds into the ground and looked after them, they would grow into tall stalks of wheat. I could then harvest the wheat, grind them into flour, and use the flour to make some bread. She went up her fence, the yellow tap, the sleepy cat, and the lazy dog. And, and she asked him, Who will help me to plant these seeds? Not I, said the yellow tap. Not I, said the sleepy cat. Not I, said the lazy dog. So, the little red hen sighed and went off. She dug some hole in the ground and planted the seeds all by herself. The little red hen watered the wheat plants. She watched as the plants first sprouted and grew tall and strong over the summer. Next, the wheat needed, cut, needed cutting down. The little red hen went back to her friends and then she asked them, Who will help me to cut the wheat? Not I, said the yellow duck. Not I, said the sleepy cat. Not I, said the lazy dog. So, little red hen sighed and left her friends. She found a scythe and cut the wheat all by herself. Once the wheat had been cut, the grains needed grinding to make flour. The little red hen went out to her friends again, and she asked them, Who will help me grind the wheat into, into flour? Not I! said the yellow duck. Not I, said the sleepy cat. Not I, said the lazy dog. The little red hen sighed and walked away. She went back round the wheel into flour and she do it all by herself. Next, the little red hen wanted to use flour to make some bread. She went back to her friends. Who will help me make some bread from the flour? Not I, said the yellow duck. Not I, said the sleepy cat. Not I, said the lazy girl. So, she baked the bread all by herself. She added yeast, water, sugar, and a little milk to the flour and then mixed it, then shaped the loaf and put it into the oven. As the bread was cooking, it gave off lovely smell which drifted across the farmyard. Mm. The other animals lifted, lifted up their noses and sniffed. When the bread was ready, they were already walking up to where little red hen was baking. She looked her, at her friends and asked, Who will help me eat this bread? And all together the animals said, I will, I will. But the little red hen asked him, Did you help me to plant the seeds? Did you help me to cut the wheel? Did you help me to grind it? Did you help me to make the bread? Also better, the animals answered her. No. Well then, said the little red hen, I think I will eat this bread all by myself. And that is what she did. The next time, the little red hen found some grains of wheat. The yellow duck planted it in a deep, rich brown soil. And the sleepy cat watered it carefully every day and the lazy dog harvested it when, and when it had grown tall and strong. And when they baked the dog, together the animals made a hot chocolate and ate the fresh warm bread. It was delicious. The animals lived happily ever after. So, children, from our story, you have learned that it is very important to help and work with one another. Today, we're going to have 
an activity and that is a coloring activity. We are going to color our little red hand. So, what are you waiting for? Bring out your coloring materials and let, uh, and let, let us start coloring our little red hand. Are you ready? Okay, good job. That's all for today. So, thank you uh, for listening.